Masters get a nice welcome from the crowd. And now we're just waiting for that bell to ring. And there it goes. Well, as you know, it turned out to be almost a one-blow contest, as in the case of the Woodcock Baxi and Count. Same blow, same round, same place. A terrific left hook in round one, which will be coming up very shortly now. There it is, a smasher! Now let's watch that same blow again. And you'll see that for a moment Mills is paralyzed, and if Marshall had only followed up, the fight would have been over now. But Mills keeps going by instinct and tries to recover by holding Marshall, for which he's warned by referee Teddy Walton. But who wouldn't hold after a punch like that? Well, although Mills fought gamely on, he never really recovered from that first round lot of dynamite, and I do mean dynamite. Once more, he's warned for holding. They break and continue to exchange blows of no great consequence until the end of the round. Both boys come out fighting. Freddie, keeping up that famous tradition of his, goes right into the attack. That head down, sooner you than me attitude. He forces Marshall to give ground and backs him into a corner. But Marshall's not in danger. He takes his punishment and stands right up to Freddie. and Marshall's still right in there, handing out punishment. There's a tremendous left hook, and Mills goes down to one knee for the first time, but only for a count of one. He comes back and goes right on into the fray until the end of round two. And so into round three, which turned out to be a disastrous one for Mills, with Marshall going right to work. but he's obviously still groggy from that first round punch and Marshall gives him no chance to recover. Three right hands and Mills is down again, this time for a count of five. But again he's up and in there on the attack, trading punches. Mills lets go with a smashing left hook which staggers Marshall. Momentarily for those body blows of the colored boy begin to tell. <laughs> then another left hook from Marshall, and for the third time in this round, Freddie goes down for a count of two. Up on both feet again, though. Where that man gets his stamina from, I'll never know. And then shortly before the end of the round, Marshall shifts his attack to Freddy's body. Just watch those savage body blows of Marshall. shows any of his old form or manages to hold his own. He goes right into the attack, though this obviously isn't the same Mills who came within an inch of beating Lesnovich. Once 
Baltimore Mills stuns the colored boy with the left hook. But Marshall's body blows are continuing to take their toll and slow Freddy down badly. Mills is warned yet again by referee Walton for holding, and before the round continues, the two boys stop and shake hands. Then they go in and dance round for a few moments, each one looking for an opening. Come on, Screen star Peggy Ryan's right in there fighting too. Stuart McPherson tells the story to the millions listening in. continue to spar, then Marshall gets Mills into a corner, but Freddie fights on gamely, and just before the end of this round, Mills lets go with a hard right. what turned out to be the last round. Freddy comes out fighting, but Marshall goes right to work. And that heavy punishment that Freddy's been taking really begins to tell. Both his eyes are showing signs of wear and tear, and it's really only a matter of time now as far as Freddy is concerned. left hook which puts Freddy down in one knee and in that position he takes the final count. He manages to get up onto his own steam as referee Waltham goes over and raises Marshall's hand. Well you can see how exhausted Freddy is, how disappointed Woodcock is, what Jack's thinking, only Mr. Boxing knows. The reporters burn up the wires with the result. The Hollywood visitors look mighty happy about the whole thing. 